Hi everyone, welcome to another Midweek Thoughts. You'll see today I'm not actually in my rather chaotic office, but I've found a, a lovely quiet place in the chapel, uh, in the Emmaus Chapel here at church, and it is just such a place of um, stillness and beauty, and it's great to be in here. Today's reading comes from Matthew 28. It's a very famous reading of right at the end, Matthew 28, uh, verses 16 to 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you to the end of the age. It's a really cool uh, reading, a really amazing reading. And I want to, for us today to draw attention to one word. Well, I, I want to draw attention to a few words probably, but one particular word. And it's the Greek word un. And the Greek word un means therefore. And sometimes we read this great commission from Jesus and, and think, oh, Jesus is putting that weight on my shoulders. I've got to go out and make people disciples and, you know, all this sort of thing. And it's, it's a very much a, an effort based thing. But actually, it's, it's the linking between all authority and then what we do in mission. And of course, all authority is given to Jesus. Therefore, we can then do the stuff that Jesus is asking to do us because it's not on our backs. We are we follow him in obedience but it's actually he is responsible and uh, he reaps the harvest. He, he has, takes the responsibility for the results. So that takes the pressure off in terms of how we live our lives and things. Also, just in day to day life, just uh, something I was pondering earlier. Actually, all authority is given to Jesus, the authority that is over our lives, the authority and the love and the grace that is over our lives uh, is, is insurmountable. And so we can go into those places which we may be slightly nervous to go into. We can do those things that God is calling us to do without fear, because actually it's him that he has got our backs in this. And we don't need to uh, worry about um, whether we're going to get it right or whether we're going to get it wrong. We can follow in obedience, knowing that he is gracious, he is loving and all authority is given to him. And one last little picture, as I was praying yesterday, uh, yesterday morning, I had this picture of, you know, we, we think of God being God, Lord of all the earth. And of course, that is true. He is, he is king of the universe, you know. But um, do we ever think of that, that picture of Jesus being king over your village, king over Perford or Wisley or uh, whichever village or town you live in? Jesus is reigning king on high above that place all authority is given to him so we can get involved in the stuff the cool stuff that God's calling us to with the confidence that he has the authority and he will do it as we obey him amen have a wonderful week and there'll be another thought for the week next week and uh, yeah it's wonderful the sun is shining summer has returned bizarrely for a couple of days god bless bye bye